Next question comes from Larry Bird from the Fashion Institute of Technology. And Larry asks, why hold a news conference for student journalists before opening it up to the real press? Well, uh, you know, these days, I, I suspect we all have differing definitions of the real press. So let me talk a little bit about that. But first say, um, was it Larry? I, I didn't write it down, David. But if it's Larry, um, I just want you to know that I've had the great privilege of meeting with your president, President Brown, um, actually delivering her to the Fashion Institute of Technology. So I know where you live and I know how to find you. Um, I also want you to know that I come from a program where fashion and design are, are really huge priorities for the University of Cincinnati. Um, I've participated in the annual fashion shows. I've been very, very proud of our students, and I look forward to meeting you where you live. That said, uh, besides the media access that, that was available to us on the day my appointment was announced in February, which involved numerous media, if you would call them the real press, uh, from the New York Times to the New York Post to the Albany Times Union to other uh, print media that were in the room when the governor uh, announced or introduced me to the State House uh, population, to uh, New York uh, television, to Albany radio. We've had a lot of exposure to um, the, the um, I guess you would say standard, uh, I don't know about the word real, I feel like you're the real press, but most importantly what I want to say is that this first ever uh, web exchange and video conferencing with David is just the perfect way to start a relationship with the constituency that matters most, and that's our student body. So while I understand the importance of staying in touch with um, the organized professional media, I couldn't, I can't think of a more important way to begin my relationship with the student press than, than what we're doing today. I, David, I can imagine that every year we could start with an editorial, with a virtual editorial board meeting, and you could have your editorial boards in the room as you connect with us. We'll get increasingly sophisticated about teleconferencing and video conferencing. And uh, so we might be able to do this a couple times a year. If we really like ourselves, we might do it even more often than that. So uh, I'm, I'm very proud of the place uh, we started and how we're doing this today. I have a feeling my media contacts on the campuses are very excited about that promise. <laughs>